Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. Oh, yeah, baby. It's real. So, we're going to bring out this little short epistle, you know, um, based on the gospel, man. And uh, I want to re read the definition of gospel. Gospel. A good, joyful message. Okay? The history of the birth, life, actions, death, resurrection, and ascension, and doctrines of Yahweh Shai. Or a revelation of the grace of Yahweh to fallen man through a mediator, including the character, actions, and doctrines of Yahweh Shai, with the whole scheme of salvation. Wow, he's really giving it to you. With the whole scheme of salvation as revealed by Yahweh Shai and his apostles. This gospel is said to have been preached to Abraham by the promise. In thee shall all nations be blessed, right? Because the children of Israel are going to be scattered through all nations. That's in Galatians chapter 3 verse 8. It is called the gospel of, of Yahweh, Romans chapter 1 verse 1. It is called the gospel of Yahweh Shai, Romans 1 chapter 1 verse 16. It is called the gospel of salvation, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13. You know, God's word, divinity, theology, right? So once again, gospel, simply the good news, brothers and sisters. We're going to bring it out right here. Uh, oh yeah, baby, it's real, it's real, you know. Um, and, you know, this epistle is inspired by all those beautiful chariots, you know, those tokens that Yahweh Shema Shah has been sending our way lately. You know, the brothers have been bringing it out about these chariots, and uh, they're getting closer and closer. Um, and it's, you know, you can't deny it. Even the, uh, the devil themselves, you know, are, are, are trying to, you know, not trying to come clean because, you know, they're, they're never going to repent. But, you know, they're, they're even putting it out on the forefront because it's so, these, these, uh, chariots, you know, the vehicles of our salvation are, are just so right in the face, bro. Right in the face. Let's go ahead and get into these scriptures, okay? Make it a nice, uh. Lord willing to be a nice, short, edifying epistle here. You know, uh, actually, you know, uplifting, exciting, okay? Let's go to the book of, which one are we going to use? This one. Okay. Go on to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Before I formed thee, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Right. You know, because uh, don't forget now, Yahweh Shema Shah has declared the end from the beginning. And uh, at this very time, he's woken us up, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. And that's who this word is going out to. The so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. You know, letting y'all know that we are the lost trail tribes of Israel, brothers and sisters. We are those chosen people, not the whole, you know, we, we are, and we're coming back to the understanding that we've been lied to. You know, they, they purposely, you know, the elites, the ones that run this wicked world, perfectly, per, uh, have, have purposely uh, kept this understanding from us. You know, they allowed our dead bodies to lie in the streets, man. They're calling us, and we honor the curses, calling us a, pro, a proverb and a byword. You know, just not even letting us know that we're the children of Israel, even until this very day. But that's okay because Shah about Shema Shai, you know, he showed great uh, mercy on us by uh, giving us his spirit, waking us up, quickening us, you know, to the word, man. Made us alive again. Let us know that we are his chosen people without a shadow of a doubt. Oh yeah, baby, it's real. One more time, let's read this. Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Before I formed thee, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations, okay? We're going to go straight uh, to the book of Ephesians. There it is right there. Chapter 1, verse 9. Having made known unto us the mysteries of His will, according to His good pleasure, which He hath purposed to Himself, okay? 
that in the dispensation of the fullness of time, he might gather together in one all things in Yahweh Shai, both which are in heaven and which are on the earth, even in him. Okay? In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. Okay? That we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Yahweh Shai, man. In whom he also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, brothers and sisters. And, you know, uh, this word right here, man, just, it just does it. it you know, uh, after everything that's happened, you know, uh, with us waking up to this truth, coming into this word and that's why uh, I wanted to do this epistle you know because um, Remnant Save you know said it the other day he made an epistle uh, and it was it was it was beautiful bro it was about predestination and you know it's it's it's, it's something that you have about Shema has given us is is it a gift gift of gift of faith and as the scripture proclaims right here you know um, let's go get it one more time let's read this one more time Having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, which he hath proposed in itself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of time he might gather together all gather together in one all things in Yahweh Shah, which both which are in heaven and which are on earth, and, and even him, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose purpose of his will of him. Who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will? Salaki so about that, about the stumbling and everything, man. Uh, just a, a, it's a rocky, it's a rocky road here. Uh, and I wanted to, you know, just wanted to let that word sink in. Predestinated, you know, according to His will. The Lord Almighty. See, one thing about this this epistle here, also, I want to bring out, is that. Uh, You know, this this is not of us. It's about the will of Yahweh Shema Shai. So the ones that he have called and chosen, you know, uh, as the, as the scripture proclaims, whoever gone, whoever who is who's ever gone against his will. That's in the book of Romans, chapter nine. Let's go get it because that's what the what, that's what the apostle was talking about. Uh, who said no, no, no? That's what the big brother elder said. You know, hey, instead of just uh, he said, just go get the scripture. Let's go see if we can get it real quick. Give me one second, okay? Uh, come on. Uh, let me put these glasses back on. Yeah. Um, let's let's just start right here. Romans chapter nine, verse thirteen. As it is written, as it is written. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated, right? Because uh, once I wanted to, I want to make that point that we have been woken up to this truth, the 100% truth, right? And uh, this word is evident within itself. You know, of, it's the gift of faith, number one, but this word also is, de is declaring itself. You know, and nobody can come against the word of truth unless you're just a damn demon, unless you're just an antichrist. But the ones who, who Yahweh Shem has put the spirit on to believe this word. Hey man, we're we're all in for it because it says it's telling telling you exactly what it means. You know what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Yahweh Shemashah? God forbid. For He said unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then, it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of Yahweh Shemashah that showeth mercy. For the Scripture said unto Pharaoh. Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the all the earth. Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will harden. Thou wilt say then unto me, Why does he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? And that's what the point I want to make out. Who has resisted the will of Yahweh Shema Shai? That's right, because everybody's in their lot. Everybody's doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing, man. And we're hoping and praying to be a part of that 144 elect and one third of Israel who are predestinated, you know, for this salvation. Because, you know, uh, yeah. So, just like the scriptures say, a just man falls down seven times, but he gets back up. Why? Because Yahweh Shema Shai preordained his ass to do that. 
You ain't gonna go but so far. You gotta get, you gotta get your ass back up and and uh, and uh, worship your about Shema Shah in truth and sincerity and believe. You know, you know, it's by faith and mercy are you saved, brothers and sisters. You know, this is the will of your about Shema Shah, man. So, oh yeah, baby, it's real. And the thing about this, the thing about it, you know, at the end of the day, all the things that we've gone through this life even before, right before us just a moment before it's coming in the truth you know of just being out there oh lord you know and even now getting up having to go to the plantation day by day and all that stuff it's just grueling bro and just to know that this is not it this is not the end that there's better coming that this is just the beginning this is you know esau for esau is the end of the world but jacob is the beginning of it that followeth bro come on man uh, hold on, let me get a, let's get another scripture. I want to go to the book of Baruch. Um, how do we do this? Oh shit. Okay, right up here. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Okay, here it is. I was about to say, man. This is a second, a, a brand new app, another one. I was about to say, how do I go back to find another scripture? This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 4. O Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to Yahabashim Asha are made known unto us. Okay? The things that are pleasing unto Yahabashim Asha is made known to us. So, once again, you know, it's, it's the Lord's will that He's given us this, this understanding, you know, and for us to do things that's pleasing to Him. But what? You still got two thirds of children of Israel that have no clue of what's going on out here, bro. We're gonna go to the book of First Peter. If I can find it, okay, there we go. First Peter chapter two, verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, right? Um, once again, stating that, yeah, this is real because uh, even the world cannot receive this 100% truth that Yahweh Hashem has bestowed on us, you know. Um, I wanted to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to this store over here. Let's, let's finish this epistle over here. Real quick. We're gonna walk back up this road and come back down. Uh, we're going to the book of Matthew. Shit, I keep doing the same thing. Okay. Matthew chapter 10, verse 27. We're gonna step it up a little bit, bro, so the epistle don't be super long. How long is it? Yeah. Matthew chapter 10, verse 27. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light, and what ye hear in the ear, that that preach ye upon the housetop. All right, so you know Yahweh Shemashai made had made it known his words of truth to us. So therefore we come out on the highways and hedges, we bring this word out, you know. Uh and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Right, because, uh, you know, coming back to this understanding that Yahweh Hashem Asha is all powerful, man. You know, uh, all these lies that they put on us to uh, make us fear, we have, no, we have nothing to fear. But Yahweh Hashem Asha, right? Coming back to our true power. That's our Lord, you know, that they've taken and, and, and uh, blasphemed His name. And did all these, you know, uh, uh, made us go off and, and lied to us and told us the laws that your commandments have done away with, had us worship a false idol, the accuser of, of our brother, man. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 49 verse 6 and he said it is a light thing that thou should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the, pre the preserved of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou mightest be my, sal that thou mightest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Okay. Thus said the Lord the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One to him who made 
the, who man despised, to him whom the nation abhorreth, to a servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise. Princes also shall worship because of the Lord that is faithful and the Holy One of Israel, and he shall choose thee. You know, in these words of faithful and true brothers and sisters. Let's read it one more time. And he said, it is a light thing that thou should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserve of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou might be my salvation unto the ends of the earth, brothers and sisters. You know, we're those Gentiles, the ones that were scattered in all these other nations, thinking that we were, you know, part of this society and all that stuff. But the whole time, we were the lost sheep of the house of Israel, brothers and sisters, the Lord chosen people. You know, and this is real. This is reality. And we can see it, you know, that's why uh, when I see those chairs, man, I try to repost them or try to keep them so I can do something with them later. You know, and they're, um, most, of those, most of those videos that you see me repost is from uh, the brother GMS, uh, Get This Work, man. Uh, it's just beautiful that how you have about Shai has all the brothers, you know, doing certain things. And I really appreciate those videos, brothers and sisters, man. They, they really, you know, to see the cherish, like the one with the, uh, with the helicopter. Uh, was it a helicopter, right? And that's that little silver chariot. Uh, it's just driving so smoothly right along that helicopter, man. So clear as day in the daytime, you know. And you can see it. You can see the metal. And I remember seeing one a long time ago. Um, right after I came into the truth. Uh, I think it was right in between when I first heard the truth. Started watching the Elder Apostle of Great Millstone, you know, started praying on the names. And be, right before I started preaching, though, that was one up way up. It wasn't, it wasn't too high in the sky, and it was a, a round orb, but it had turned its lights off. There was no, it wasn't all that glowing light. It was just a, a golden orb, bro. And it was, you could see it. You could see the metal of it. You know, and it wasn't, it was, it, it was just as, you know, like a low, like a, the, the height of a cloud would be. A low flying cloud like these right now. Let me see if I can see them. Can y'all see those clouds? Let's see. Yeah, something like that. So it was that, that's how close it was. You could still, you could see the detail in it. And um, I was like, I was like, uh, I looked around to see if there was anybody around. And there was some Edomites walking up the street. I was like, hey, do y'all see that? And they, they started taking pictures of it. They were like, thank you, thank you. And I tried it, when I tried to take pictures of it, it wouldn't let me take pictures of it, bro. It wouldn't let me take them. Let's get back to the epistle now. We're going to go to the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 17. Well, I got to go back. No, it's right here. It should be right here. Oh, there it is. Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 17. I love them that love me, and those that see me early shall find me. Right, and that's what time we're, we're in right now. Because the scripture says, um, uh, you know, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. And let's go get this other scripture. As the big brother pointed out, hey, just go get the scripture, bro. John chapter 1, you know, John chapter 17, verse 19. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither I pray for these alone, but for them also, which shall believe on me through their word. Right, so, you know, it's like, once again, it's an order to these things. Yahweh Hashem HaShai has proclaimed us to come out here and, and bring out this 100% truth. You know, and then the believers to be a light to the Gentiles. The believers gonna gonna see that light and they're gonna follow the truth, man. Uh, we're gonna go to the book of John. Okay, it did it that time. I don't know what's going on with it. Computer. John chapter 15, verse 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. Right, once again, because we are the Lord's chosen people, man. Uh, and this is, this is great, you know, 
it's very special, man. And it's, it's real. And it all, you know, it all makes sense to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians out there. While we're under the curses, we understand, you know, uh, coming back, that we disobeyed the laws of Yahweh Hashem Now we're at the bottom of society. But now, see, this society is falling all, failing all around us because it's the end of their kingdom. But man, uh, just a while back, you couldn't tell these uh, Edomites nothing, man. They were on top. Everything was so pretty and shiny for them. We were their self-servant. We were their servants. We, didn't, we had no idea, bro. But uh, just in a short time, how about Shema Shah is woken us up to the truth. And this word is being preached on the four corners of the earth and things are happening. Things are happening, brothers and sisters. So you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go forth and bring forth fruit. And this is that time that this word of truth has been brought out. You know, telling the children of Israel to repent to the one true living God, man. Wow, every time I want to bring out a new scripture, I have to go all the way back and then come back in again. This is the book of John, chapter 10, verse 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, right? And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall not perish. Neither shall, they, shall any man pluck them out of my hand, right? My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand, right? Because it's His will be done. You know, this is the Almighty's program, right? It's beautiful, man. It goes back to that predestination. My sheep hear my voice. So it's, it's a gift of faith. So when you hear this word, the 144 hopefully elect and one third of Israel, what? You know, hey, that's why, this, that's why this epistle, you know, these epistles, you know, going out daily for the, for the children of Israel, my man, to bring in, bring in, in the sheep, bring in, in the sheep. Somebody asked me what I was doing the other day. I'm like, I'm bringing in the sheep. You know, <laughs> this is the book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Just do it as my reasonable service, right, brothers and sisters? Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I come to set a man at variance against his father and daughter, against his mother, and his daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Okay, and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Okay, right. You know, because this word of truth right here, it's not for the whole world. Remember, the whole the world cannot receive this. This is only for the 144 elect of Israel and one third of Israel. And how about Shema Shah has declared, hey, I'll take you two by family and one of a city, man. You know? So you're going to be up in your own household. You're going to hear this word of truth. And you're going to turn from everything you've ever known. You're going to believe in this word. You're going to see the chariots and know that those are not no damn aliens. Those are the angels of Yahweh by Shema Shah, brothers and sisters. Those are your, just like the scriptures say in the book of Revelation. I'm the, I'm the fellow servant. I'm your brother, you know. I'm the fellow servant, you know. We have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. You know. Uh-oh. Don't get in today. You know. Come, come on, y'all. Let's go to uh, Proverbs. Let's go. Uh-oh. Where is it at? Okay. The book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn. Okay? And, what's, and going right back to, uh, you know, when we first came, when we were coming into this truth, you know, right before, and even now, you know, we were like, what? You know, like, damn, man, everything is so bleak. If it wasn't for this word, man, we'd be, I don't know what, we'd be, I don't know. You know, that's why uh, a lot of Israelites, the brother, you know, that's out in the world, they do all these self-medications and things like that, man. They're trying to, trying to numb the pain of living under this wicked-ass nigger's rule. You know, because Job chapter 9, verse 24, we're about to get it. Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So, this wicked world that we're living in right now is controlled by... The wicked, Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race. You know, he's uncovered up the faces of the judges. He's promoting everything that goes against uh, what you have by Shema Shah's deem, you know, to be the law of, of life. You know, but it's not for him. It's for us. You know, all these things are for the will of you by Shema Shah. We're going to go to the book of 2 Thessalonians. Let no man deceive you. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except there come a fallen away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, okay? And this is what, what time we're in right now. 
who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worship, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Okay? But Yahweh by Shema Shah is about to come back and, 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 and take this man out of, out of power, out of rulership, bro. You know, and we can't wait, man. But we're, we're patiently waiting on Yahweh by Shema Shah, you know, as all things on the, on the earth are. But it's just beautiful to be in this word right now. You know, and as we go to the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 9. After this manner, therefore, pray thee, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Okay, and right now, the Lord's will is not being done. Because what? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? You know, but then what's going to happen in just a short time? Let's go to the book of 1 Corinthians. You know, and that's why we see the chariots, you know, the Lord's army, and also the vehicles of our salvation. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, I think we're going to start at 20. But now is Jehovah shall risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all died all die even so in Yahweh Shai shall all be made alive but every man in his own order Yahweh Shai the first fruits after they that are Yahweh Shai's at his coming then cometh the end okay because Esau is the end of the world but Jacob is the green of if it followeth but then cometh the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to Yahweh even the father when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power right so everything on this earth right now that's been ran by this wickedness is going to be put down okay for he must reign till he have put all enemies under his foot under his feet the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death right because Yahweh Shem is going to put these laws in our inward part and we all know that um, uh, sin equals death bro we're going to go to the book of Revelations. We're about to wrap it up in a minute. Chapter 12, verse 7. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels. And prevailed not. Neither was their place found in, anymore in heaven. And who's that, who's that dragon? That's Esau Edom, the Caucasian race. You know, that's running this world in all wickedness. You know? And then the chariots are going to come. That's a, a host. The heavenly host, the angels of Yahweh by Shema Shai. And him, just like the elder apostle was talking about it this morning. You know, they're going to fight in heaven. That's that war in heaven. You know, because Esau, Edom, is the devil that the Bible speaks of. They're the dragon. They're the serpent. Right? That war in heaven. With the chariots against these, these little puny-ass jet fighters. You know, Yahweh by Shema Shai is going to put all rule under his feet. We're going to go back. We're going to go to Revelation again. Chapter 21, verse 4. And Yahweh Shema Shah shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Right? And he shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And that's what we're talking about right there, man. You know, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Then, uh, as we were reading, uh, when, the, when the wicked are in authority, the people mourn. But when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. And that's what's going to happen in the kingdom of heaven. There ain't going to be no more crying and all this uh, mourning and shit from this damn devil that we're being oppressed under. And Yahweh Shem Ashah shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away right man and he that sat upon the throne said behold i make all things new and he said unto me write these right for these words are are true and faithful that's right man oh yeah baby it's real you know what i'm talking about it's real my man i'm gonna go to the book of isaiah i'm about to wrap it up in just a second brothers and sisters chapter 14 verse 1 for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land and the stranger shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Okay? 
And as the elder pointed out this morning, the stranger is the other tribes, you know, the northern kingdom. And the people shall take them and bring them to their places, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou hast made the serve, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How have that oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased. You know, and that's what we're waiting on right there, brothers and sisters. You know, and that's and, and I want to point this out. And it shall come to pass, verse 3, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 3, and it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord. That's in the kingdom of heaven, you know. Yahweh shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, man. And that's what we're looking for. We're waiting to be, you know, to be redeemed out of here, bro. We're gonna get uh yeah, we're gonna end it out with this with this scripture here. I was gonna get a few more scriptures after that, but I think uh I think it will be overkill if we if we do too much more. We're gonna go to the book of Psalms chapter 1, 126, verse 1. When the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, turned again the captivity of Zion, when we were like them that, we were like them that dream. Right, so all this is going to be like a bad dream, bro. All this, all this, all this pain, this suffering, all these things that we've been going through, it's going to be like a bad dream. Then was their mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they, among the heathen, the Lord had done great things for them. The Lord had done great things for us, wherefore we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Yahweh Shemashah, as the streams of the, in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, and weepeth, beareth precious seed, shall doubtless come again and rejo with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. You know? So, hey man, once again, Psalm chapter 126, verse 1. When the Lord turned us again to captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream, man. It's going to be like a bad dream. And we're going to get out of here. We're going to be in the kingdom of heaven. And all things are going to be made new. Yahweh Shemashah. Oh, wait. Let's end it off on this scripture right here. Let's end it off on Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. And it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not... Salaki. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 And it shall come to pass If thou shalt hearken diligently Unto the voice of the Lord thy God To observe and to do all his commandments Which I command thee this day That the Lord thy God will set thee on high Above all the nations on the earth That's what we're talking about baby Oh yeah it's real It's real And how about Shema We're going to be doing what he say So we're going to be up on high man We're going to be the kings of the earth You know we're going to be ruling this thing We're going to be joint heirs in the, in the kingdom of heaven with Yahweh Shai So with that I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem, the Kakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutation to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word. Follow the land word of the Lord. Shalom Israel. Shalom world.